the bible says that the sign of the son of man will be in the heavens all the world will see him oh then the dead in christ will rise first you see i don't attempt to explain things that i do not fully understand can i give you a full description of how it will happen that we will now be living the ground like this because somebody might be thinking now how will it happen are we going to float are angels going to carry us are wings going to come out from our back okay i don't know i don't know and i'm not going to pretend and attempt to explain something i don't understand but what i know is that we would have first of all our faith would have been tested like gold through the fire by that time the man of lawlessness would have been standing in the holy place by that time we would have reached an agreement with the leaders of the world for a for peace by that time he would have begun to work signs and wonders and even the very elect some would have been deceived by that time there would have been a law that if you do not take his mark you cannot buy you cannot sell you cannot leave you cannot do anything by that time they will now begin to look for those who named the name of the Lord who have determined that they will serve him till they die by that time those people would have become endangered species they'll be looking for you everywhere the Bible says that you will jump into a river the river will vomit you and you see the funny thing about that thing is some will be put to death hmm? but it is the first death some will be tortured the bible says that men will cry for death and death will not come that kind of torture where they put your hand like this and they give you short sleeve or long sleeve and while you are in pain they are asking you renounce jesus right now just simple lack you cannot maintain your integrity let them say that you cannot eat you cannot buy you cannot sell except you deny jesus are you sure you'll be able to survive when the lord comes there is no there's no emotion inside those whom he will gather as his sheep are those who have raised the banner of righteousness and you know the thing that scares me about this day of the lord matter is that your public life does not count hmm? if all you have is what men know you to be and the true state of your life is a is is is, is a disaster is corruption and pollution the true state of your life is what we count in those days because men when they want to measure men they look at the outward but in on the day of the lord when the measuring scale is brought it's not what a man is outwardly is who he is in his heart an opportunity to preach in the nations is not promotion is labor is labor but now young men that are planning to enter ministry they have put their goals their targets after five years i should be preaching in nations oh god that's not that's not the weight of a spiritual man there are men that have never left their current jurisdiction their value before god is greater than men that have gone to nations they've never preached in any foreign nation but yet their value before god is weighty and i'm not saying preaching in foreign nations is wrong i've preached in foreign nations eh? i'm not saying it's wrong I'm just trying to tell you that if it's not part of your destiny it does not mean you are a failure because when the day of the lord comes every man's heart will be bare there's nothing to hide it will be bare is what will determine whether you will be left and to be left means that we will come with him oh i wish i could show you all the promises he gave to the seven churches maybe we'll read it before we close he that overcome it hi the bible says that we to, to one of the churches i think it is the church in pergamos i don't know i'm not i can't remember he said he will give him nations to rule over he that overcometh nations to rule over 
You see, bro, it is that day when the Lord comes that you will now find out that there are many things we have celebrated in this life. And before God, they are dung, they are worthless. He says, when the Lord comes, that day, it will be cruel. Why is the Lord coming? He's coming to judge the earth. That corruption that Adam's disobedience brought upon the earth. God is coming to bring a new heaven and a new earth. We are going to rule with the Lord 1,000 years in the earth. A new heaven, a new earth. But the men that will march in his army must be men of righteousness. Men who don't have idols in their heart. Men who money is not their God. Sex is not their God. The day when the Lord comes, that day money will fail. <laughs> that, day, that day, some people's bank account will be so fat. Hmm? They've laughed at other people, laughed and mocked other people. That day, they will now find out that the scale of measurement, no indices is called money. It's not one of the parameters that Jesus will use to measure a man. The worth of a man, the day of the Lord, the worth of a man will have nothing to do with his bank balance. It will have nothing to do with his physical appearance. It will have nothing to do with his educational certification. The day of the Lord, every man's heart will be made bare. And that day, if you are bowed to mammon, bowed to immorality, bowed to strange gods, that day you will wish that you had, you had, you had flaunted Jesus. You will wish.